go for it. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome into Joe Code. I am your host, Joe Marisi. Great to be with you guys today. Uh, today will be uh, this will be a fun episode here. Got a good friend coming in. I said I would be having more guests on, and uh, it'll be great. I'm gonna start having more guests. It's good to talk to people. I just, uh, you know, I sit here and I ramble on and on with myself. Well, I got Aaron here for uh, support. He chimes in. But it's good to have conversation. So, got a good friend here today. Going to have, you know, a nice little chat. And then we'll get to, uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I won't get to the emails today or the comments, but we'll try to get to some at the end here and uh so if we don't read all the emails and comments just know that i will get to them um but yeah without uh further ado let's bring on uh our guest for today now just wait i'm gonna introduce you um yeah, it's like a it's like a show where it's like, hey, here it comes, and then we do a little uh, thing. All right, this is a <laughs> uh, working at the comedy store. I get to work with a lot of funny people, which is really cool. And uh, this lady is hilarious and uh, a really good friend of mine, and uh, it's a lot of fun having her on today. And uh, I think uh, I think that we'll have a great time here. So uh, let's get her out here. Joe Code listeners, oh. give it up for Felicia, folks. Oh my God! Come on in, Felicia. Have wow. a seat. Thank you. Welcome to the podcast. This is. I gotta stop because it's really crazy that you make me. What? Get it? The chairs are uncomfortable. <laughs> do you wanna? Do you wanna step ladder oh or something? to get into and now i look ridiculous on the podcast like i can't get no, into ju- it we'll give you a second to get adjusted oh my god go ahead fix the microphone How move do you it want up it? a little why bit why didn't you fix it what i don't know where you want here? it you can have it wherever you want it <laughs> i put mine like that oh my god what about your dr- <sighs> you forgot your drinks you oh want- i did i did so i gotta climb off this thing again bro this is Aaron, Aaron will I'll get, get it for you the chairs go- look at this joe all right, get your beer, and then what about your water? <laughs> My water. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I can have them because they're not. I don't know. They're company. I don't know. All good. All good. It didn't matter. Okay. No, it's fine. Aaron, Aaron would tell <laughs> you. If Oops. not, don't worry. It's all good. My hair. Uh, I'm having a bad hair day, so. Uh, I know you've been really working on that, huh? Yeah, I forgot to do my hair in the bathroom. I usually do that, but you know what? We're already rolling, so too bad. I know the other night at the store, I asked you if I could touch your hair, and you said no, and then you put your beanie on and walked away. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm a little self-conscious about about it. I don't know why. What? Because I, I, I say how I don't mind the thinness of it, <laughs> all right? And I, and I don't. Yeah. I don't care that it's thin. People right. can say whatever they want about it. Right. I've just known you bald for so long. It's just, like, so new. Yeah, but you knew me with hair first. I don't. I don't remember when I met you. Oh, that's that's nice. <laughs> I don't know with these comics. How do I know when I? How do I remember when I meet you guys? Okay. It's not a de, like a defining moment. Like Ben, your boyfriend. I don't know when I met him. That guy's like quiet as a mouse. I mean, that's gonna hurt his feelings too. You're just hurting. I don't. I don't remember a lot of when I met a lot of you comics. Yeah. No, same. I don't know either. You were just like. Joe. <laughs> like, one day it was like, yeah, Joe ev- was in my life. Every day everybody just shows up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think I met you before Ben. I don't know. I'm pretty popular, so. Yeah. I meet a lot of people pretty fast. Yeah, and you're a lot louder than him. Fuck you. He's, <laughs> he's, qu- he's quiet as a mouse. I like, listen, hey, he talks, I talk to him. He just doesn't, maybe he doesn't talk a lot to you. He's like a little fox. Because he's not in love with you. No, I talk to him. Yeah. yeah he's in love with me. Are you kidding? <laughs> He was in love with me before you. Yeah, he didn't know you. I think you guys knew each other longer. I feel like you guys knew each other first. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. 
You uh, you call me Marisi. I do. You don't call me Joe. I don't like. I feel like you're a Marisi. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's fine. I like that. I've had, yeah, a lot of my women friends back home do that also. Yeah. I guess it's a it's a cool name. But mm, I think the Joe is being less of your name. Like the problem is that like you don't. I don't know. Like Joe, everyone's a Joe. You know what I mean? But you're a Marisi. You know All right. what I'm saying? Yeah, I like that. I could it be sounds, Joe. Aaron could be Joe. Powerful. Everyone could be a Joe. Sounds powerful. No, not anyone could be a Joe. Yeah. What does that even mean? The man? average Joe? Okay, well, <laughs> I'm not average. You're not, but I'm saying you're okay. You're right. You're special, what, Joe. What was what was up with that last night? You did a yeah. You did a set in the belly room at the comedy store. Yeah. Again, Felicia and I work together. We're both we do. door staff people at the door comedy guys. store what? okay door guys that's yeah. what they say but um you you seemed upset about your after your set last night what was that about what were we all upset about i don't know i did i had a really good set i was just kind of like uh i had you know when you do a set and it's just like so fun like i didn't work on it like you know what i mean i just had a lot of fun i did my bits that i knew would hit and like yeah we were having fun you know up next is really fun so yeah it's a great well no but you seemed like you were uh disappointed what yeah because like when i was up i was up there because i didn't see i came in when, when you had like a minute left i saw the end and then i was by ben oh when I, and you I, just seemed like upset about something right oh, it I, wasn't the set when i get off stage yeah it's kind of my thing to run off and say i'm gonna kill myself it's um don't say that. <laughs> oh, is that bad? Okay, I'm sorry. I Why is say that your that. thing? It's not my thing. It's just kind or of. Is that funny. just like a defense mechanism? Right. Like, oh, I'm I'm not that good at this. I'm like I hate my yeah. I'm like I gotta go. Why do you do that? I don't know. I'm be confident I'm about very, it. I'm very. You know, I'm a lot shyer than people. You know how it is. People think you're a clown, and they're like, yeah, you're a clown, 24 hours. But you feel like you do well most of the time, right, on stage, or no? Do yes. You, or do you get like? But uh, that's so like, who says that? <laughs> you know, no, like, yeah, but you don't. I, I do uh, well on stage, Marisi. I do that. Well, that's. I mean, that's what I do. I well, no, I don't do that either. But <laughs> do. I don't. Uh, like, if you don't yeah. do well, do you uh, do you blame the crowd usually, or do you blame yourself? I blame the crowd <laughs> <laughs> every time. <laughs> every time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've been I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> I know what works. Right. Okay. I'm 39 years old. <laughs> yeah. I started doing stand up when I was 24. 100%. I'm going into my 15th year of comedy. I started in like, I think it was, it was probably April, April or May. I want to say April of 2008. Wow. So it was now 2023. So yeah, about 15 years now. So I know Oof. what the frick I'm doing up there. Oof. So if people don't laugh, man, <laughs> just get on board. Is that how, do you feel like that too? Uh, I feel like, I don't usually do, I do pretty well all the time, but if it doesn't, if I don't do well, I, it's usually it's my, I said something. I, like, I know the moment where I was like, well, I, I did just attack all the white people in the room. You know what I okay, mean? Yeah, don't do that. It's pretty funny sometimes, though. Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> it's pretty funny sometimes. Well, yeah, if they laugh. It was laugh, Black History Month. Yeah. They laugh, yeah. Most of the time, they laugh. But yeah, well, yeah, obviously, you're doing it in, like, a joking yeah. manner. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot, like, your, I forgot your audience. They're going to be like, who's this? Who do you have on the podcast? What what's my audience? Yeah, you had like bro concerns coming in. I did. The, uh, Aaron, she was like worried about the bros. Uh, this is. He's like, I, I don't think I have. A, this isn't Chad and JT. They're they're more bro specific. I'm I'm a hybrid. Okay, I'm like mm. a bro. I'm like a nerd. I'm a jock. I, I'm everything. What like, do you? What about you makes you a nerd? Well, in high school, I was. I was just. I'm saying, I, like, I was friends with everybody. So, I didn't. So that makes you a nerd? No, but I. I'm saying I. I relate to all factions <laughs> of people. I'm not. Yeah. I don't. I don't feel like I have a specific. Well, well yeah. Comedian. Obviously, my audience is male dominated. F right. I don't but, know how many women are listening to this, but. Well, I listen to it. So. Oh, you do? Yes. What do you know about this podcast? <laughs> um, I know you, your your fans are called coders. Oh, and I wanted that change. How do you like that, people? You want <laughs> you want that change? Yeah. To what? Joe Schmoes. No. The Joe Schmoes. No, because then it's like a, everyone's going. Oh, yeah, I'm a schmo. No, th see, you're. This no, not that is negative. kind of fun, though. It's fun. Yeah. No. Coders, those are nerds. See. You I want to be schmoes. 
<laughs> well, yeah, I'm trying to take the uh, tech term right and make it my own. You wanna you wanna personally change the tech term? Yeah, the coders. stupid coders got it. thing. Yeah, to your fans, you can. I believe. I think you can do it. You're already there. You got me. Plus, when I hear coders. There's kind of a podcast circle that's already the schmoes. Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, okay. See, there you schmoes, go. Schmoes, no. It's like a trivia thing. Oh. Yeah. So, so never mind. I'm just not that. on the media. Sorry. Never mind. You, I'm a hack <laughs> then, I guess. No, it's okay. You you drink coffee or no? No. I can't do the coffee. I can't do it. I do lattes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big latte guy. Yeah, because I can't really do coffee uh, anymore either. I get too oh too jacked up. It's it's too much. I've had I had one when I was really like sixteen, of like a black cup of coffee, and I didn't realize, you know, I didn't know, and I drank it. And I was yeah. like shaky. I'm too, I'm already hyped. I can't do the coffee. Well, when you're that young, you shouldn't drink it. Do you um, do you know about the different segments that we do on Joe Code? Yeah, you guys do one about the emails and one about the. Well, no, I do. Well, yeah, I do emails, comments. But then I also do, uh, there's a thing where I do Joe this code. This sucks. This sucks. For the week. And then there's this Joe Code. And then this is great. Yeah. Yes. Look at you. Come on. What are you, a fan or something? Well, I know. You're my friend. I, I pop into my friend's podcast. And, All right. You know, I'm a well, comedian I, too. That's so. awesome. I appreciate that. Yeah. Do you have a podcast? No. Why not? Because I hear enough of your guys and I'm like, wow, what else could I say? Well, you know, there, there's things to say. Yeah. I just feel like I see a lot of... Um, things sometimes i'm like that's that doesn't need to be recorded forever you know what i, I mean? guess yeah, yeah. I, I don't edit my podcast so yeah, whatever i say I, that's i've it. noticed what is that some <laughs> kind of insult man no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. hey uh i mean you could have you should have one yeah what would i what, what are podcast? you are you a guest on a lot of people's podcasts? yeah i've done a few yeah okay yeah. so yeah, I don't know. I'll just talk about anything. Yeah, I don't. I don't. See, I don't. I'm. Uh, this is my podcast. Is about n nothing. Right. <laughs> You're like the Seinfeld. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I, that's why it's I listen just, to it sometimes. Just I like just hope watch people the laugh at it, and then they, yeah. you know they find it entertaining. And mm -hmm. sometimes uh, we 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 do a lot of good food talk here. Ooh. There's a lot of good food. Uh, yeah. Like oh. food, beer, and men is our big thing yeah. here. A lot of good talk on that, those topics. I heard topics. you guys are going to Netflix with that soon, right? Um, you guys are taking that to Netflix? Uh, yeah, if, they, if they'll have me, sure. Food, <laughs> should, beer, and men. That'd be yeah. really interesting. Um, yeah, no, that'd be great. Um, yeah, so, I do yeah. have a complaint about uh, Joe Eats. Oh, Joe Eats. One yeah, of the yeah, best yeah. shows on One uh, of the best, Instagram. Truly. Well, what's a complaint about it? Um, I feel like in there's your, not enough of them. That, true, that's the number one. There is not enough of them. And I'm okay. glad you're back because you were taking a break, and I was like, "Is he eating?" I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we just uh, there was a writers uh, strike. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I understand it's hard out here, but um, you've been taking bigger bites, man. Like, I feel like you're really like, is it a bite or are you fighting? Like, you've been like really smashing. Joe smashes. You yeah, know? that's part of it. You don't. You weren't taking such big bites before, right, Aaron? Oh. Like, the bites have gotten a little... Aaron, are the uh, bites too aggressive you know, like, on Joe Eats? I appreciate the passion. I don't know. It's very... Yeah, no, yeah. that's oh the... Well, here's the other thing, too, is the double bite oh, is, yes. is what I do on there. That that's is. a big thing with it. Is I'm the saying, double like, I feel like the the... I haven't seen the double. It's been just almost one big... You think I'm overdoing it. No, I don't think you're overdoing it. I just I, sometimes I get nervous. Like you have a vein popping out from like a sandwich. I'm like, is he okay? All right. Well, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I'll I'll keep an eye on that. Just I want to, I want you to live. I, I love it though. Yeah. I love it. Well, Please thanks a lot. More. Um, but yeah, speaking of the segment, I'm gonna go into uh, this oh, yeah. sucks for the week really quick. All right. So uh, well, this sucks for this week is uh, my back. Uh, I keep throwing it out. Well, I don't care. Well, I did it a few months ago. And I guess I did it again. Uh, got out of my friend Zach, who works with us car last night, dropped me off. And then I just like, oh, my lower back getting out of the car. And then I have to go to sleep that way with a bad lower back. And then I wake up sweating because my body was probably like all tense, like trying to sleep. And I just wake up in a sweat, and then today I like I was walking and I felt it walking. I, I got to go to the chiropractor. I'm messed up. <laughs> oh this God. is ridiculous. You know, I'm in good shape. People are saying, "Oh, you look skinny and good," and then I'm throwing my back out. So when I'm so when I'm not playing softball, Aaron. This guy keeps bothering me to play softball. I'm not even in any kind of shape to even walk. 
All right, so back to the... Uh, that sucks. <clears throat> that is kind of crazy. You are one of the fittest door guys we have, absolutely. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of guys that yeah. are uh, out of shape. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> well, that's not... I was just giving you a compliment. I wasn't trying to rip the other guys. I was just saying... I was. Okay. <laughs> Good to... I... Uh... No, but I, I guess, yeah, yeah. there's not yeah. um Yeah. There's not a lot of exercise yeah. uh happening amongst our door staff, I feel like. <laughs> well we're up to like three AM. Maybe we night. should uh start a little uh, program or something. Well you're already injured. How what kind of program what can you do? Can you do push ups still or something? Or? I yeah, I haven't in a while, but yeah, I'm sure that I could. You could? What's a bat can you swim? Should you be swimming? Swimming is supposed to be a fantastic workout. I yeah. can swim, but yeah, it's a full body yeah. workout. Do East Coasters swim a lot? Is that a, I'm from LA, so yeah. I mean, there's pools. People <laughs> right. do laps in the okay. pool. But like, um, okay. yeah, I mean, I'm not really an East Coaster, but uh, Chicago's not on the East Coast. I'm not coming for. It. I'm genuinely. It's in the middle. Okay, I'm okay. But yeah, I guess to, if you're from out here, people will say I, that. Just no, I don't want any of I mean, the East Coast, East Coast bros I mean, I guess coming you can say me. Utah is east because it's east yeah. of here. Okay. Well, I, okay. I know you. All right. You know what, Joe? God damn it. I'm just worried about your back, bro. I just want to yeah. know what you can do. It'll be my back will be fine. We're, um, you're on uh, Instagram, right? What is your, wh your, what is your handle? I, I was looking oh, yeah. you up. What is Fell? I don't your, know. Your name is Felicia I'm, Folks. Her right. Folks, her name is spelled. Right. F E L I C I A and folks is F O L K E S. Right. 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 Yeah. So if people type that and they could follow you on Instagram. Right, why don't you give them my social security number? But what is what your. Um, I, well, okay. Oh, <laughs> no. I guess you don't want fans. <laughs> no. Is it. Uh, what is Fell Fatal is your handle? What does that mean? I made like Instagram and all that stuff in like 10th. 10th grade 11th grade so it's like it was something from high oh, school really yeah you it's the same. that long yeah i'm younger than you i don't <laughs> yeah i know you're other people younger are than younger me. than you marisi but Jeez. i uh I, I i think i started instagram in like 2016 i, nah. I was pretty late to the instagram i was like 2010 i think okay yeah. and so it was like was my high school handle so <laughs> what's I started, up i started in the just before the pandemic well, yeah see yeah he's late okay well Never mind. Screw Instagram me. Instagram hasn't been around that long, maybe 15 years. I mean, that's pretty long. <laughs> that's pretty long. Yeah, okay. For a tech business, right? No? Oh, yeah, I guess, for a tech business. Okay. Well, yeah, it was my high, it was just like Fell, like Fel, Felicia Fell, and then Fatal. It was a play on Femme Fatal. Yeah, that's what yeah. I thought. What does Femme Fatal mean again? Is that like a... It's kind of like a dangerous, like, I guess, sexy woman. I don't even know. Woman, who cares? I was yeah. just like, Fell Fatal, that'll be... Accurate. Yeah. And I'll have Is that this right, Aaron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's popular in uh, noir film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah noir. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was like cool. Isn't it cool? Yeah, I like it. For like a seventeen year old. Yeah. <laughs> Fell Fatal. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's a it's a fun little name. Yeah. And no one can find me though and my career is unsuccessful and it's been damaging me. But anyway. <laughs> what is Instagram's damage? The handle, no, like, cause it's hard. To, like, oh, you know, it should be like Felicia Comedy. Yeah, but if you people know. type your name in, uh, you, they can still find you. They can still find me. My picture's like an eye, a picture of my eyeball when I was also seventeen. This, yeah, I have yeah, never put changed. You, uh, I'm there just like I don't with you know, a holding a microphone. Right, so. I, I got to get on it. No, you need to have that social I gotta, media. I do, I do. <laughs> but you can do it. We can do a picture of you right now with that beer that you're <laughs> drinking. Right. Oh, that'd be really funny, actually. In your Evian water. And I only drink Evian and alcohol. How do you like that beer? It's pretty good. I mean, I don't like a lot of beers, but like it's like a beer. Yeah, it's the uh, George Lopez cream. Right, so I think it's cream. a good beer. Here, that was at in the All Things Comedy refrigerator. Mm. Nice. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I typically don't drink beer at three thirty in the afternoon. <laughs> Uh, but hey, do whatever you Fuck want. Fuck you. This you is, know. <laughs> uh, there's no judgment here. You don't um, drink at 3:30 in the afternoon when you're doing your friend's podcast. Typically, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't. I had really to try the yet. George Lopez beer. I had to try the. George yeah, Lopez. you don't really drink. What's your preferred liquor? I like I when know. I see you drinking at the comedy store. You don't drink beer. You drink like. Uh, uh, no. I drink vodka like soda or something? No, I'm a tequila girl. I don't do vodka. Yeah, everyone's on this tequila train. It's, on it's enough already with the tequila. What is everybody doing that? What are you talking? You're acting like it's I, like That's cocaine. what everybody <laughs> drinks. It's like, come on. 
No, come on. It's a party. Like I'm at a, a club. Fad. I'm at a. <laughs> Tequila is a fat. Yeah, I mean that's enough already. Let's just drink beers, man. But you can't party on a beer like as like, I can't be like partying all night like just pounding beers. But I can have like a, three tequila sodas. Well, that, like, yeah, Ooh. that's the thing people say with beer. It's like, oh, I'm getting filled up and bloated yeah, it's like or you. It's I don't know. It feels like a meal to me. It's a bit. Yeah, I mean it depends. But if you have light beer. Yeah, I like it. We talked about it. I like a sour, a nice sour. I can't do sour. See this is. <laughs> Cause that that to me it's not a beer. I don't know why they even call it a beer. It's it's that's like a it's like cider. It's not like a cider. Ciders are sweet. A okay, c- sweet and sour, whatever. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Or, yeah, I guess ciders are yeah. sweet, and then sours are, well, sour because they're it's called that. Yeah, yeah. But what is? I, or <laughs> wow. it just tastes like a rotten. Uh, like a cranberry or are you something. Serious? I, yeah, it's weird. Man, you gotta change that palate. What do you eat? What do you like? You don't do you like pickles and stuff like that? Or like Yeah, onion? I like pickles. I'm just asking if you like soury kind of stuff. I, acidic yeah, stuff. Yeah, I like pickles and uh I should have known. Of course you eat. I had uh like they used to have those little those sweet pickles. I forget what those were called. Do you remember those? No, the dill pickles? Like yeah, those? well, there's dill, but then there was, like, sweet pickles. Yeah, I like pickles. Bread, bread and butter, they're called. Bread and yeah, like the bread and butter chips, mm-hmm. kind of. Yeah, they're, they're called that, I think. I don't know what you... Um, no. I'm a big pickle girl. I like fried pickles, like, over fries sometimes. I'm like, I love a pickle. Wait, fried pickles over fries? Fries? Yeah, like if I go like to a place and like get a burger or stuff, and they have fried yeah. pickles, I'll get that instead of fries. Oh, I got you. I For thought you side. meant that with fries. Yeah, I no, like no, fried no. pickles with ranch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'd pick that over. I get the alternative. Yeah, fried pickles are good. Though. So I see good. those in a lot of places. Yeah, they're they're coming up. Do you have any weird food like um like what am I like food specifications that you do? Because like here on yeah. this podcast, we have a lot of fans <laughs> writing in. Sour cream is big right now, where people keep telling me to eat sour cream on pancakes no, or also on pasta. No. Yeah, have you ever heard of such no. a thing? Yeah, see? No. Guys? Yeah, do you no. have anything weird like that? Sounds like a bro code type of thing. Well, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But yeah, people keep telling me, and now everyone's running with it. I've never heard. I'm Jamaican. Like I've never heard of anything like that in my life. I don't even no, know what I you're talking either. about. Yeah, but do you do weird food stuff? Do you have a weird thing like that where I'm, it's like, oh, I put ketchup on my uh, mayonnaise? I do have I this thing is. with mac and cheese. Yeah. Where I'll put like sometimes I put ranch in it and like a little tuna. And like make a little. I, I did it when like you know when you do it as a kid. I think I did like middle school, like home after school one day. And ever since then, it's like my comfort food. I'll put like tuna with a little like ranch and a little some pickles. In mac and cheese. cheese in the craft pot and just mix it up. It's like a, it's it's not. I would. I'm not saying it's for. It's comfort. That's not too crazy. It's pretty wild. Cause it's like a nah. Cause it's a noodle with cheese. Right. And then you're mixing just ranch. <laughs> Ranch and cheese, and then yeah. tuna. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want I make a little, like a tuna like casserole. A little leaf. pro. Yeah, that, that, I was yeah. thinking it's like a casserole. Right. So that's that. Yeah, that's not too wild. But I didn't know what a casserole. I was just like, I was like, dump this in. You don't know what casseroles are. I, at the time, no. Now I'm starting to get. I know I'm starting to learn your culture. You, you never had them, and <laughs> you guys, you didn't have Thanksgiving uh, casseroles. No, we're, I'm Jamaican. So both my parents are Jamaican. Like we had like. You know, Jamaican food and fishes and stuff. We didn't have like casserole, like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nothing hard, nothing that hearty. No, not like pastas. We didn't have a lot of like pasta stuff. Okay. I know you're I Italian, can... so that sounds like a like I cursed your fi- like I just disrespect. Yeah, you. we had a lot of pasta. <laughs> Sans sour cream. <sighs> that means without, right? Oh, Sans. Yeah, yeah, yes. I thought you that was a brand. Aaron, is yeah. that right? Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah, see, yes. I know, I know what I'm talking. Wow, about I here. didn't say. Wow, it's 4:20. Yeah, it is 4:20. <laughs> you hate we. Um, yeah, I don't. Uh, I, I haven't been drinking. You yeah. guys, after work, a lot of people like to have drinks. You have and to. cocktails, and you guys are. You guys are doing shots. Not. I mean, what's going on? We're in our thirties, man. You guys are just like, oh, here's I'm the. Barely, here, you're at the here, end. Here's the Tuesday. Uh, well, like, no, stop. Because you're acting like you don't... Well, you also, you get seniority, so you don't work out... You don't work outside a lot. You don't yeah, do a lot anymore. I'm, yeah, but I mean, I'll I'll do... 
he'll give me patio like once a week. Oh no, that's so. <laughs> I'm outside a lot. Okay. Yeah. So, so then, like after being in the rain outside a lot. Sorry, I want to take a shot, Marisi. Yeah, that's fine. With my friends, this guy. Oh my god, what are you a cop? What's going on here? No, I'm not a cop. I just. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> To tell us if you are, you have to. I have, yeah, you have. I will. I'm not saying. No, I'm not saying whether I am or not. Oh, yeah. No, but I just see <laughs> uh, detective. You know, sometimes people go a little overboard, but yeah, yeah, no, yeah, people party. I do get like they. There are some guys there. I'm like, well, we, all right, guys, let's drink a little water. Yeah, let's yeah. Uh, let's let's dial it back a uh, smidge. All right, but they're funny, so it's fine. But yeah, it's it's cool. Everybody's everyone's safe. And, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. but yeah, it's a good time. But yeah, I'll I'll, I'll be having. Be I've, you I've know what your addiction home. is at night, though. Can we just call out since you call now everybody else's addiction? What? At night? Every night before, right? Like I'm talking 2 a.m. You'll be like, should we eat? Everybody, let's. Yeah, I want to go eat. <laughs> Two thirty in the morning. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter. That's crazy. Every night, but every shift I'm racing. Just like everyone takes a shot after their shift, you are always like, "Let's go eat." Like yeah, pizza. That's what we used to do. Okay. We used to go out every night to eat after work, and now nobody does anymore. Well, no, I, you and Renee were like fucking dough bricks. Hey, man, they're packed until like three a.m. I was waiting for you guys. Do you remember that? Yeah, we went to get pizza, but I want to. I want to go sit down. I want to go to a diner yeah, and have yeah, a yeah. meal and. And just talk and uh after work after work oh my yeah God. no <laughs> i want to take a shot and i'm like let's go home let's hang out yeah but what if you're hungry there's food at the house that's what i'm saying yeah you just got a new place now yeah so now you got food at the house yeah now. i don't have food at the house you didn't have that <laughs> well actually right now i have some wings uh that i didn't get a chance to eat from where some teriyaki wings Ooh, ooh, that's from uh bristol bristol court or Bristol Farms? Court, Bristol Farms, oh Bristol Court is a subdivision uh, back uh, back home. Oh, is that where, like uh, Nordstrom Rack? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just asking, is it like, <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna ask you. Uh, oh man, what was I? I was just gonna say something to you. I was gonna ask you something. What about the softball? I have my I have my notes. <laughs> Your notes. Here. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's stick to the notes. No, no, no. Go ahead. What were you going to say? No, this was my only... I was wondering, like, what's up with the softball team? How come you haven't asked me to be on the softball team? I was captain of my softball team all through high school. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm phenomenal. Okay, yeah, if we need people... No, 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 no. It's too late now. I have to come to you. You didn't even ask me. You asked everybody else at the store. That's no, sexist. I didn't. <laughs> It's a men's league. It's it's a men's, yeah, it's a oh. men's league. Oh, okay. Man. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't, why isn't there... What? But if you're awesome, <laughs> doesn't matter. We can make it happen. Yeah, see? I wear a bald cap. <laughs> no, I. yeah, I mean, I'd love to have you. I mean, I'm I'm not even playing right now. So. I know. That's what I'm saying. I want to take his Aaron. Let me take his spot. What, what position were you? I would play, like, second base or shortstop, okay. sometimes third base. Okay. Infield. I'm not going to play any of those, Aaron, so never mind. Yeah, infield. So, sure what did you play? I was catcher and I was right field. Okay. And I was... Yeah, I can do catcher, too. I, I can, I'm can. i good at making plays at the plate. You were yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, and I was a bad... It's an inside... Anyway. Never mind. I'm doing inside jokes on a public podcast. My bad. Don't oh, worry no, about I was going to say you... You're one of the people who's given me uh, a lot of rides. Yeah. Which I appreciate. You're welcome. Because uh, I don't have a car. You've picked me up, given me a lot... Driven me home. Yeah. Um... And whenever I would get in your car, you're always very self-conscious about the cleanliness yeah, of your car. You think I care right. on a, a five-minute ride that there's a maybe a Burger King wrapper? <laughs> Not Burger King. Maybe it's, maybe it's a Wendy's. But I do feel like... Sorry, because I never also... I don't look at your schedule, so I'm like, I don't know when someone's going to be in your car. You know what I mean? I'd be like, last night we left the place, like, like we left the store at like 2 a.m., so I'll just like get food and it'll be in my car from last night. Like, yeah, I don't care. I'm just... You're always like, don't look at the... Don't, don't look, look at the I am. Seat. I'm very... Yeah, I am, like, big I am. deal. It is. It's kind of... I don't know. Because I hate that... Stereo, you know that all the funny bits that guys have? You know, like, even Fury's funny bit about, like, the hotter... The dirtier the car, the hotter the girl, or the better the sex is. You know what I oh, mean? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And all that kind of stuff. And I feel like, I don't want to have like girls do have dirty cars sometimes. Well, I do a bit about people's cars in general. Are yeah. It's just dirty. Like, yeah. there's water bottles all over. That's bold of you, because you don't have a car. So how are you talking about other people's car? I mean, I had a car for a lot of my life, so I know, I know, <laughs> I'm part of car culture, True. okay? I know 
I know what goes on. You're part of heart. You know car history. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, I can't drive a stick. Really? Can you? In an emergency. What does that mean? <laughs> like you can move it? I can make it happen in an emergency. I can click into when I could. Just you like. You did learn. I did learn, but I haven't done it in years. And like. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I can make it go without like jamming it up, you know? All right. I got I to gotta do a. Uh, I got to do a Joe code mm, mm. for this week. And uh, let's see. Joe code is a, in honor of the comedy store because a lot of uh, friends, we work together. So I'm going to say, uh, and it's a lot of fun. So it's this week fun. Uh, for Joe code is, Joe code is if you get the chance to work with friends, do that. <laughs> it is a lot of fun when you get a chance to work with your friends and it just makes the workplace more enjoyable right. you're comfortable because it's with people that you know and when you're comfortable at the workplace uh it's a great time so if you ever have the opportunity to work with friends and uh, you could be around people that you know and love at the workplace i say do that i think it's uh, a great thing can I add something? Great thing though? to do, yeah. To the Joe code. I just want to say that be prepared, though, that your friend may be one of the worst coworkers you've ever had in your life because they do not work and they <laughs> won't do their job, but you'll still have to love them. Yeah. And just be prepared to test the friendship. That's <laughs> put that on the code. It's yeah. A, it's a real test. But that's not me. I'm one of the best. No, yeah, ones. you're one of the best ones. You really are. You really are. That's really. I feel like we're we're pretty good. Employees. Yeah, you too. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you do the job. We do yeah. the job. These guys. I mean, I love them. I've known them like a decade. I'm like, that's my boy. I do anything for him. And yeah. then I'm like working with him. I'm like, this is the worst employee I've ever. <laughs> this is the worst coworker yeah. I've ever had. We yeah. won't name names, but yeah, I mean, no. I I don't but. do a lot of, yeah, on the job. I don't do a lot of socializing. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people want to talk a lot. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that come through the comedy store, and it's like, yeah, it's good to. Be social and network, but yeah. but you know, these guys like to, let's let's keep it to uh, a reasonable amount of time yeah. to just be chatting in the parking lot for a half hour and just not paying attention to what you're supposed to be doing. Mm. You know, yeah. I feel like you're not a big talker anyway. I was surprised when I found you had a podcast. I was like, Joe. Yeah, I got I got to talk somewhere. Yeah, I I have a podcast. This is a yeah. this is all things comedy. This is a professional studio how does it how does it feel to be yeah, here this is pretty cool this is a big deal thank you for introducing me to th this wonderful place joe yeah you're <laughs> yeah you're welcome you're a good um guy. i'm just gonna go down my notes here see if there's anything uh that we that Do you we need missed. glasses no i just i'm um, holding it up so <laughs> you're holding uh, it like pretty i'm like... cheating to the camera a little bit oh yeah so now uh you your boyfriend is a comedian yeah um, do you think, oh yeah, I was going to ask, do you think it's better to be with a comedian as opposed to like someone that's non, a non-comedian, like as far as lifestyle and all that stuff, is it just make things easier, you think? I gotta be honest, I don't know about other people, but like, I feel like, not to, I feel like we're soulmates, so it's oh, kind of like, well, that's great. Um, yeah. yeah, so I feel like we kind of work out. We work out, but I could see, as someone who's obviously witnessed you two, a lot of comedy relationships. Yeah, I've I can seen see a lot. how it could not work between those two two comedians sure. for sure. But like we like, yeah, like if we both, I don't know if I quit. If we both quit, like it'd be like we'd be like this is not. Yeah, we're not doing like you know. It's like we don't have like a comedy. A lot of I feel like people have their comedy relationship, and it's like that their whole like being together is also the fact that they're comedians and like yeah, we're just kind of like in love. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it must be nice. <laughs> Joe, you're all... Stop bragging, I'm man. Not Just come on my podcast with your pearl necklace. And... I know you bought it for me for a Valentine's Day. That's why I'm wearing it. That's great. Thank you. No, I'm happy for you guys because you, you guys are great people. Yeah. We and, love you. Uh, yeah, I love you guys. Yeah, we listen to Joko <laughs> together sometimes. That's great, yeah. <laughs> In the car. In the car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch it on YouTube. I want the YouTube views to go up. And also, people, <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, please uh, subscribe 
to the podcast. Still trying to get to 1100, just short of it. But if they can't watch it, they can still just listen to it, right? 89 episodes in. Yeah, they could still listen. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the download numbers are, you know, whatever. They're <laughs> they're good. But, yeah, I'd like, I want people to watch it. I think it's fun yeah. to watch, especially now having a guest on, having yeah. you on. Am I your first female guest? Uh, yes. Wow. Am I your first black guest? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what What is this? Uh... I'm just asking questions. Yeah, but wow. yeah, you were yeah, you're someone I wanted to have on. I'm gonna have. He's only had four guests, I believe. So. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. yeah. There's only been a handful of. There's guests. like 80 episodes. You've only had four guests. 89. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I've been talking about a bunch of bullshit for most of the episodes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean I don't know. It, yeah. it was uh, it started out where I just because I was a guest on. Going deep with Chad yeah. and JT, and when I do the podcast with those guys, yeah. I I don't get like they they'll go to me to talk, but those guys hog the airtime. Like JT, well, yeah. have you heard that guy ramble? I've on never for had a hours? conversation with JT where he hasn't just been talking yeah. through me. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. That's the boys, yeah, man. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. JT, you can shut up a second. So <laughs> I, so I got. The people over here were yeah. nice enough to give me my own podcast so I could freaking talk yeah. for a second. It's about you know? time you get some respect. Can I get a word in? Yeah. JT. <laughs> you know? Chad's cool, but JT. Yeah, you know, Chad. <laughs> well, Chad's a talker, but yeah, no one's a talker like right. JT. Chad. I can't. You guys are all so ridiculous. So, <laughs> yeah, that's how, uh, yeah, I got yeah. my, yeah, so I get to talk. So I'm like, yeah, this is my time to talk. Yeah. So it's like, no guess. Yeah. I'm talking. You know, it was me, and, and I'd always be on with Strider. So four yeah. people on a podcast, it's a lot of That's a lot, yeah. lot of air time. You know, a lot of different people need to talk. And For sure. So I'm like, no, this is my time. Yeah. But then I started having people on. I had JT as my first guest. I'm yeah. like, this is fun just having friends on. I, I was yeah. worried about also not, like, being able to interview people. Yeah. And I, I would be, like, bored of it. But then I'm like, no, I'll just have my friends on. And I've been doing this a while, so now I'm comfortable right. in conversation. And and then, yeah, I just didn't... And then, and then I was also worried about having the, the just the general stupid comedian conversations of like, right. oh, when did you start comedy? Right, uh, right, right. Who, who do you... What are you, who are your favorite comedians? What and is all that, that voice you're doing? Who is that that's guy? That's just some idiot. <laughs> that's just a podcast who, guy? Yeah, that's just a podcast normie oh wow wow that's crazy because that's you no it isn't me you, you're like a podcast guy did my own voice <laughs> right i think you should do but we me and ben have talked about that too we think you should i think you should narrate some audiobooks well voiceover work is for sure one of Not, the things i didn't I say voiceover i, I think... don't want to narrate books <laughs> I, I, i'd be like a cartoon voice or something what do you, what do you mean you you think I people would want to listen to me on an audio book? Absolutely. It was uh, the, the best of times. It was uh, the, the worst of times. Isn't that great? That's not me. That's Is you. that supposed to be me? Yes. Do you know the story? Everyone has it like a Maurice. Yeah, people impression. do an impression yeah. of me. Yeah, but since a lot of them are bad. That's great. I, okay, here we go. All right, do it here again. Go. Here we go. Um, here we go. Shut up, man. Just give me a ride already. That's you. <laughs> That's you. That's your voice. You're not even doing no, a I voice. Am. I'm doing like a. Oh, come on. All right, Damn try it, it again. Okay, Aaron, listen to okay, it. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Joe Eats. Uh, <laughs> this is a salami sandwich. <laughs> and we're gonna take a big bite out of it. All right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Aaron, how was that? You think? I mean, it's hard to do. So. <laughs> it's a very beautiful. You had one. there was a lot more. Uh, <laughs> commitment on that one yeah see because yeah. before you didn't really go into the like people like to do like with me like a yeah. or like i like that's how i sound like i know my voice is whatever but yeah it's the rhythm of it you really gotta yeah there's nothing like it you should read i'm telling you i'm telling you start with children's books all right <laughs> but yeah i know everyone does their little uh joe marisi voice yeah. that they have so, which That's is flat, nice. which is flattering. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I'm flattered by it. You should do do my voice. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm... Why is it so? Lo okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> hey, I'm Felicia. Don't don't look in the back seat of my car when I, when I pick you up. This is so bad. That is so bad. Hey, I can't do impressions. That is so bad. <laughs> 
Can I, 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 you, did you ever see me do impressions of people? Well, on stage you have a bit where you're like, you do like a lady's voice for a second. Yeah. Yeah. On stage you do like a <laughs> lady's voice for a second. Shut up, man. Wow, dude, this is the shut up. This is all you, I'm telling you. Shut up, man. I mean, my latte. Yeah, this is my latte, <laughs> which is also going to be my, yeah, and this is from Bristol Farms, which is my, this is great for yeah. the week. I discovered a new favorite grocery store, and that is Bristol Farms. They have a phenomenal latte that I had today right here. And they have all sorts of great food there. The bakery section, they have some of the best cookies I've ever had. They also have great pre-made sandwiches and also sandwiches that you can get made there. Mm. Like yesterday, I had a Nashville turkey sandwich, which was like a little, had a little spicy aioli, coleslaw, turkey. It was amazing. It was a pretzel bun, and then they pressed it. Oh, wow. Pepper jack cheese, they heated it up. They got pre-made salads, uh, little containers of tuna salad and chicken salad. They got a hot bar, great orange chicken, great wings. Just a, And it's just right down the street from me, and it's my, this is great, and it's my new favorite store. Wow. That's Bristol Farms. Do you ever go? Did you not know it? Well, no. But did you not know it? Like you didn't know it existed at all, or no? I knew about okay. it, but I just never uh, lived by one, and right, right, same. just overlooked it, and just yeah, went just drive to by. Whole Foods and all those other, uh, yeah, all those other stores and whatnot. You know, yeah. I've been recently going to Gelson's because we just moved near that, and that's a new one where I like that. Yeah, Gelson's. I've only been inside one of them, but yeah, they're they make they're food pretty too. cool stores. Yeah, they, they have a hot too. bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hot yeah. bars are fun. Yeah, there's nothing. I'm starting to get into my hot bar, hot bar life. I go in a grocery store, I'm like, where's all the warm foods? You know? Yeah, it's good. So we do uh, we do a segment here where uh, we we get fan email. You want to do some emails? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do uh, we'll do a few emails, and then we also like read like the YouTube comments. Oh, oh no, because they're fun or whatever. Um, but yeah, everyone, uh, don't forget you can email the podcast at Joe Code Podcast at gmail.com also uh don't forget uh you could book me on cameo cameo is always a good time book me on there for a fun little uh video and then also uh join the patreon <laughs> that is just two dollars a month Ooh. yeah to join the patreon at patreon.com slash uh, slash Joe Code podcast. Could they join um, the Patreon in cash? Like, if I give you two bucks right now, could I join the Patreon? Yeah, that can be the Patreon. Okay. Yeah, there's people that Venmo. Oh wow, great. Yeah, I mean, at any uh, any ways <laughs> you want to uh, want great. to contribute. Absolutely. Um, this is a email we got from uh, my uncle Jim, who sent me all of the. Sabaro locations in California. Why? You know Sabaro? Yeah, oh, yes, I've been. You to, like Sabaro? I've been to them all. Um, I haven't eaten it since all. I was fourteen, maybe. Yeah, my yeah. He, he goes. <laughs> my uncle Jim goes. I had one thirty years ago at yeah. Woodfield Mall. No, because I talked about Sabaro on last week's episode. Okay. <laughs> because I was recalling mall memories. Right. Yeah, and Sabaro, when I was a kid, I thought was like the best pizza. Right, right, right. I used to come out like the movie with my friends and just like, yeah. It was great, Pick wasn't it? Nice it was a thick crust, though. It was a pretty thick crust, now that I think You remember it. a thick crust? I mean, I remember just like a thin, like, New York style. No, what? Style. Man, can we get up a picture of a Sabaro? No, it's a thick crust. Maybe. I mean, yeah, it's a little. It's a little do doughy. Like doughy, yeah. I would say. I definitely remember like a doughy square. A yeah, rectangle. kind of, right? You remember, see, I remember a, a triangle. Wait. <laughs> I'm from the West Coast. Well, Again, maybe you had an East Coast yeah, style. Maybe, yeah, I had an East Coast style. That's how they did it at, at Golf Mill in Niles, Illinois. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's, uh, let's do this one from Alex. Uh, Chicago Shot. Joe, I used to go to Chicago... When I was in Great Lakes for the Navy, my favorite place to hit was Reggie's Rock Club. Ever been? 
I want to say yes, but it's been a long time. I can't recall exactly, but always a great time. But the bartender we befriended would always pour us a Chicago shot. It was fucking terrible every time. <laughs> Are these a real thing or was she fucking with us? Also, have any good stories about drunk sailors in Chicago? Um, I think he's talking about Malort. And that like is, spell. And I don't that know is what terrible. Saying. Malort is like this, I don't know if it's a whiskey or whatever. It's just a really like gross tasting liquor. And it's like a Chicago thing, apparently. Like, I've done a couple shots, but I think, yeah, I think it might be like people's, like, tourist, like, hazing kind oh, of a thing. Because okay. it was like, yeah, it, it just, it's a really bad shot. Oh, nice. How do you spell it? Malort? Yeah. I think it's M A L O R T. No Lord. No. But yeah, it's kind I've of a thing. Heard. People do it. Like I do it. Like I'm doing you, it right now. Like usually you'll do a beer with it. Yeah, this again with the beer. But yeah, it's like a Chicago thing. You take a shot with the beer. The only thing I heard about that is like Jaegers. What kind of stuff is going on? I'll do uh St. Patrick's Day coming up. I'll, I'll be drinking uh, yeah. some beers during that. Do you Where ever, are you going? I don't know. I don't have any plans yet. Do you ever do Guinness? Um no, but my family, like, you know, I think a lot of people in Jamaica like Guinness a lot. Yeah, Guinness is good yeah. beer. I like it. I like yeah. it mixed with other stuff, too. Yeah. Like, uh, like you can put harp in there, or sometimes with an IPA, it's good. Right. I like Heineken. Oh, you do, you'll do Heineken? I, I, you know. Well, what about that Jamaican beer, Red Stripe? Red Stripe, like though. Yeah, Red yeah, Stripe's I like Red good. Stripe, but I got to be there. to get, I can't really get it a lot. It's here? It is? Yeah, it's at stores. Oh. I've had that. We had that in Chicago. I remember. Oh, sweet! It's got the little the little goblet. Yeah. Can not can. I want it by the beach in Jamaica. I don't want it here in traffic. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Here's uh here's one from Dina. Ooh. Uh, These are very Jimmy Dina. This is very like, I feel like an Italian. <laughs> yeah, it's only Italians writing. Email in. right now. Uh, <laughs> Email chain. <laughs> Uh, this one is subject line, the French toast wife. Hey, Joe, I am the wife that puts ketchup on her French toast. Yes, I am real. Yes, we exist. If this is a savory style piece of French toast, then heck yeah, I'll put ketchup on it. Sometimes cinnamon, sugar, and syrup for breakfast just doesn't cut it. Makes me weak and lethargic. I need a fat piece of French toast with wow. ketchup <laughs> and sour cream on it. Wow. Sometimes with a slice of cheese. Wow. Hi high protein. Now that's living. Also, I am from Australia. Maybe that's... Yeah. Maybe... <laughs> also, I am from Australia. Maybe that's why you've never heard of this French toast combination before. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Don't knock it till you try it. P.S. My husband wrote this in without speaking about his concerns, uh, parentheses, the ketchup beforehand. Is this grounds for divorce? Oh, wow. Because there was a guy who wrote in that said his wife put ketchup on her French oh, toast. Okay. And he's like, is this grounds for divorce? Now, see when I'm talking about these people writing in with these crazy... Yeah, well, that's a whole house full of coders right there. Ketchup on the front on French toast. Now, I mean, isn't this... What, what is going on? I gotta be honest, it's 100%. It's gotta be some down under shit, because I've never heard or sour cream on French toast. Yeah, it sounds like down under shit. <laughs> Dina. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then t sometimes cheese. Yeah. And then sour cream also. Ketchup. I don't know. Because the, the French toast is kind of sweet, isn't it, already? Like they add like sugar. Into yeah, I feel like it's already got kind of a sweet. Yeah. I mean, it's, I don't know. It's too much. Either way, it's too much. But, but Dina, yeah, don't divorce your husband. You guys are a lot of fun and entertainment. And uh, keep writing into the podcast. Thanks. I say divorce him, but no one asks me. <laughs> 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 I say get rid of him. Oh, man. Yeah, let's uh, maybe do one more, and then we got to do... Uh, then we got to do the, uh, we'll do, a, we'll do a couple of, we'll, we'll address some of the YouTube comments. Oh, yeah. The, the comment people always write in. Then we got 
we got a pod coming in after us, so we we can't yeah, tell we can't him to run fuck off, one. dude. Um, this is my first time here. Have some respect, man. This is um, <laughs> this is from Sheen. I think you say Ooh. it S I O N. Sean. Really? Yeah, it's another way you can do it, I guess. Yeah, because he's from the UK. Okay. So let's see. What what up, Joe and Aaron? As I write this email to you, why is that funny? I don't know. You're, the way you read, I'm yeah. telling you, I think it's so funny. I'm sorry. I'll yeah, stop. it's I'll funny. Stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. That's why it says all things comedy I'm, you're right. behind me. It's funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Four cheese pizzas, the subject you were wondering Ooh. from sean uh what up joe and aaron as i write this email to you i'm currently sat in a pizza house in burn united kingdom b-o-u-r-n-e-m-o-u-t-h bournemouth all right aaron what are you like some worldly guy so there's a soccer club out of there <laughs> yeah, that yeah, I yeah. Know of. Hi- hey soccer speaking of soccer oh yeah, that's it's the next co- next show <laughs> It's uh, Ian Edwards. Yeah, Ian Edwards is coming in next. Uh, yeah, and I was like, just fuck this great comic. Right. Great to yeah. see him poking in his head in the window. I know he's so distracting. Wait, how, get how, do you, how do you say it again, Aaron? Bournemouth. 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 All right. As I'm currently in a pizza house in Bournemouth, United Kingdom, listening to your podcast and eating this four cheese pizza. I was incredibly excited to get my luscious lips around some stanky cheese and oh. dough. But I'm not impressed with this. What do you guys think? The chili oil isn't even the slightest bit spicy. Now, there's a picture of it. Aaron, would you be able to put that up on the screen? Yeah, give me a second. Yeah, we're going to... I want you to look at this pizza. And my initial thought is, yeah, I'm not into it. Um, (laughs) Four cheese. It looks like it's missing three of them, it looks like. Yeah. And I, wow. I was on his side once he said. I am not impressed. Oof. You were what? I was on his side once I realized once he said the chili oil wasn't spicy because I love spicy and it's like get the get the red pepper in the chili oil. Yeah, Stop chili oil. Pizza. That sounds good. Yeah, I want some pizza right now, dude. He says it wasn't the slightest bit spicy. Well, let me see it from your phone. Oh, it's in that. Aaron's gonna put oh, it. Gonna up. Put Aaron's it. gonna oh, put wow, it up on the on the here. screen. Yeah, this is a. Uh, it's a professional podcast I'm, I'm at a <laughs> professional studio. Yeah, so there's the oh, so-called no. four cheese pizza. Oh no. Yeah, no thanks. No. Uh, Let's see, it looks like just bread. I mean, it's not even. Yeah, yeah four cheese. Yeah, is there even one cheese? I don't know. I mean, there's maybe one cheese there, <laughs> two possibly, unless there's the white cheese. Is that mozzarella on top, and then maybe whatever that yellow shit is. I don't know. Maybe two cheese. No sauce. I don't know if that's how they do it in the UK, but no. I'm not into that. I need sauce. I don't um, like it at all. Yeah, I'm not into it. There's a big bubble yeah. right there. <laughs> yeah. There's a giant bubble. It's like yeah. the chili oil is also like thrown on already. Put it on the side. Yeah. Let me put my own I, oil. Yeah, I like that also. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, people, make sure you watch this one on YouTube. You'll, you'll want to see this pizza and yeah, see it's what pretty, we're talking uh, about. It's pretty good. Gr- Gross looking. No offense to that. I, I'm sure they have regular. What happened to a nice pepperoni? What's a four cheese? What happened to like what? Just wh- cheese. Just cheese. I mean, it's United Kingdom and uh, Burnmouth. Bur- Is that how you say it? Bournemouth. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. You guys. Like, you guys are so smart. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, we'll get to the folks. If I didn't read your emails, don't forget. I will get to those uh, next time. We will get to a. Wasn't there a softball question? We'll get to a f- yeah okay we can do that all right yeah there oh. was one we can do that one for Aaron Ooh. and then we'll do some comments uh, yes there is a softball question uh, from Tom hey Joe and Aaron he's seeking softball advice longtime listener and really enjoy the podcast certainly the highlight of my week how do you like that Felicia I think that's, that's pretty, pretty good. cool yeah thanks a lot. <laughs> Hoping to get your advice. I just signed up for my first softball league. This will be the first time back on the diamond since playing baseball in leagues as a kid. What equipment do you think I need? And any advice before heading into the season? I'm planning on grabbing a glove, batting gloves, and cleats. Was also planning on hitting the batting cages a few times before the season starts. Any advice is super appreciated. Thanks for the great content. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, Tom, I think um, 
Any advice? Yeah, I mean, just make sure, uh, you know, don't get hurt. Um, stretch before the games. All get right. there. Get it. Give yourself enough time to warm up. Get warmed up before you play. And then, yeah, I think that's all the stuff you need. Glove, batting gloves, cleats. Uh, Aaron, what do you think? What, what kind of advice can you give Tom here? Yeah, I would say, um, I mean, you can look into turf shoes instead of instead of cleats. Okay. Um, you don't need, unless you're playing the outfield exclusively, you don't need uh, big spikes under your shoes. Uh, it caused me to. This have is all the wrong advice. I gotta be honest, guys. You need to give him real advice. What? Like, like he, the, my advice. First day, find the biggest guy on the team, punch him in the stomach. You know what I mean? Let him know. What is you're this, the new captain. <laughs> you're the new captain of this team, <laughs> and you're gonna organize it properly. You know what I mean? <laughs> Put him on the bench. Then find the smallest guy, make that guy the pitcher. Do you understand? That's how you that's This what you is think, real huh? advice here. Okay. Not cleats. What the hell are we talking about? He knows how to put on shoes. Well, well, he, he wants <laughs> advice from guys who've been doing it for 20 years. I'm just, yeah, we've been doing it. I'd like to see fights at the ball. Any league I'm not on, I want, I want to <laughs> stir up trouble. Yeah, we'll start fighting. <laughs> yeah, so folk, like I said, figure out what works for you and cleat wise. I find turf <laughs> shoes to be better. Uh, they're better on my ankles. Uh, low top versus high top. Figure all that stuff out for yourself. Try some things on. Uh, Aaron's just giving real advice. I don't yeah. know why that's yeah, so funny. Yeah, we want to we wanna help Tom. <laughs> you gotta okay, break you're, in that, I'm sorry. Break in that glove, obviously. A little glove oil <laughs> with a hammer. Yeah. Felicia, we're real. I'm I, real. I'm, I I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. I won, I won championships. This is yeah, great Aaron advice. Wins champ Aaron plays softball 300 days out of the year. I mean, he's uh, year-round. Right. Doesn't take a season <laughs> off. He puts on snowshoes to pitch. <laughs> right. I see that. I'm sorry. I was, I was sorry I was trying to bring comedy into this very serious no, I, matter. I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right about no, the I turf shoes. I, I appreciate the comedy, but yeah, we, we you know we want to make sure Tom's make sure Tom's taken safe. care of. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm so sorry. You're right, Tom. I, you know what? I think I take my advice back. <laughs> I no, don't advice. take it back. I just want him to be a, a team player now. Now I get how serious it is. Now I get it. <laughs> I get it. I'm sorry. Yeah, we do. I guess we do joke a, a lot, but uh, when it this comes is, to softball, uh, it's not a fucking joke. I get that now. I get that now. <laughs> I really do. If you plan on playing the infield, uh, I invest in a cup. Also. Oh yeah. oh yeah, that's serious. That is actually yeah. I do that. Yes. Buy a cup. Good advice. Yeah. It doesn't hurt that bad though, right? Oh yeah. No, it does. <sighs> Especially with the speed the softballs flying and the and the rotation. Yeah, it oh. does hurt that yeah. bad. It's a softball. It's not. It's not soft. I know, it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's hard, but yeah, it's <laughs> soft in the way that it's thrown. I guess the way that it's pitched is right. why they. Called softball. It's really, you guys do underarm, like pitches. Yeah, underarm. Okay, I don't know if the, yeah. I don't know if that's like a. Just ask. Aaron, question. let's do a, a comment. I think we gotta go, but let's do. Okay. Let's do the one from I think Will did the. Um, oh, did he do another one? Did an update on the oh, okay. dessert standings. Let's cool. do that one, and then All we'll right. and then we'll get out of here. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, What's the dessert standings? And then we'll get to the rest of the comments next time. Uh, our friend Will does a thing where he, <laughs> like, he did it with appetizers. Now he's mm -hmm. doing it with desserts. He does, like, a playoff bracket, and we got to pick the winner. Like, it was mozzarella sticks versus pizza rolls, oh. and we have to pick the winner. It's wow. fun. Well, you guys were cooking pizza rolls before I came in here. Yeah, so Aaron I was know. eating pizza rolls. He yeah. loves it. In the air fryer. Okay, Will says, Elliot, I guess that's someone else who commented on him. Uh, if Joe wants me to have me, great. Uh, oh, yeah, that. Elliot wants to have Will on the podcast, uh, but no need to explain these seedings. They perform, I report, Joe decides. So, because there were some questions about how he seeds these things. Yeah. Uh, and ranks them. This guy them. was calling them out. Yeah. Oh, shit. So, we've got number one seed. <laughs> number one seed, chocolate chip cookies versus red velvet cake, number five. Yeah, so I gotta I gotta pick chocolate the winner chip here. cookies before, or red velvet versus cake versus red velvet cake in a uh, best of seven series. So we gotta <laughs> analyze it. So what we say here best now? Best of seven. Yeah. So what does that? Mean? So now chocolate chip cookies versus red velvet cake. Now red velvet cake uh, is great. Cake in general is great. It's there for your parties. It's there for your weddings. Uh, cookies way more accessible 
you can take cookies with you. You can stop and get a cookie. Uh, you know, they come in different sizes. They're hard. They're soft. Uh, chocolate chip cookies, uh, the number one seed here, is, are t it's tough tough to take them out right here. Right. Red velvet cake. I don't see red velvet cake Absolutely. quite making uh, the jump here to... Uh, Absolutely. Now, it's nice and moist. The frosting's great. Red velvet cake, you, you know, you... You struck it big. At, hey, it's my birthday, Red right. Velvet Cake. Right. So I, I'm saying Red Velvet Cake will take, uh, I'll give Red Velvet Cake two games here because they're tough. Okay. They're good. Right. They're gritty. But, uh, okay, I get it. Now. Here we go. But chocolate chip cookies, especially like Bristol Farms type of stuff, it, 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 chocolate chip cookies bring way too much to the table. I say chocolate chip cookies winning four to two. Really? In advancing. Yes. You said best of seven, though. Yeah, the way they win four. Yeah, because they got to win four out of seven. seven. Oh, so they okay. win four got games. It. We don't even get Red to... Velvet only wins two. Yeah, it only goes six oh, games. Oh, wow. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Aaron, what do you say there? The only way I see Red Velvet getting close, because I've had this before, is a Red Velvet cake that has chocolate chips in it. Mm. Ooh. So that, that coupled with the cream cheese frosting, oh, at its best... It can come close, so I say it's four to three chocolate chip cookies. Okay. No, no upset. Okay. Well, this is that's really good. Yeah, that yeah, that sounds great. I want to try that. Right, but I think this is why I say four to three because you know red well, velvet cake is just co chocolate cake, and what makes it red is the dye, and okay. I think that. The, you know how like a team will have like a lot of fan like home court advantage. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like chocolate chip cookies has so much <laughs> home court advantage. Like yeah. it's just like undeniable. Like I know people who don't like chocolate cake and don't like. But I don't know people who do not like chocolate. Like they make gluten free chocolate chip cookies. People yeah, like, can't, chocolate they chip have cookies. That, yeah, they reload every year. I'm thinking they're a they're a they're a fact they're a factory there. I'm thinking straight up just maybe just the first four games out. Wow. Chocolate Whoa. chip cookies. Man, all right. So we all have chocolate chip cookies. It's advancing. pretty legendary. Okay, yeah. So, all right. Then we have. Er, we've got number two seed. We, we'll just. Oh, there's here. one more. Yeah, okay. Two seed apple pie versus three seed brownies. Whew. Ooh, yeah, that's a good yeah. one. Okay. Wow. All right. Two seed apple pie versus three seed brownies. Oh man. <sighs> Yeah, that's a good one. So, okay, because, man. Yeah, because both of them are good with vanilla ice cream. Yep. Both of them are good warmed up. Mm -hmm. Five one. Who do, you, who do you say, brownies? Brownies. I'm leaning towards brownies also. Mm. Not five one. They can only win four. Well, I think they win. No, wait. They I, they I, won when they got three. No, no, I no. Think... It's no. This is a different thing. <laughs> oh, different uh, matchup. How many? How much is their matchup? How many games? No, it's they still won? best of seven. Yeah. So they play the first three. And then I think. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So four, four one. one. <laughs> I'm. I think it's really close. I I think it's brownies before three. Really? Yeah, because apple pie's tough. Like you could put. I don't know. Brown sugar. On the bottom, I've had apple pie, vanilla ice cream. Brownies, though, I mean, you could add, like, powdered sugar, brownie sundaes. Um, no, my mom loved has... brownies. That, yeah. that that adds weight. Yeah. Uh, I like brownies. Hey, Aaron, what do you think? Uh, I think Sorry. that Sorry. what sways this is when you're eating apple pie, you can kind of convince yourself you're doing something healthy. Because it's fruit. Right. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes the, the apples aren't as hard or soft. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just kind of like it's too much. So variation. now, Aaron, you're saying that in a negative sense. No, I'm saying apple I'm saying apple pie takes it for that reason. I, oh, I say you think so? Oh. I say it goes down 4-3 apple pie. Okay. Yeah, but when we're thinking dessert, yeah. dessert. are we thinking healthy, though? That's the thing. Brownies? No. But it's it. you know it's decadent, but it also makes you think... Yeah, maybe it's not so bad. Whereas you know brownies, you know where they stand, health-wise. All right. Well, with Felicia here. It's your call, though, Joe. It's your show. Yeah, because I got me and Felicia. All right. Two, to, I'm up, two on, against on, one. On. Brownies pulls it out. All right. Wow. 
<laughs> congratulations, words. brownies. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, and with that, the that upset. what's slight, that? Slight upset. It was two versus three. Yeah, slight upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Felicia, that's it. We're gonna wow. we're gonna wrap it up here. This was uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, I was nervous before we started. Yeah, so was I. Yeah. yeah. No, I wasn't. I'm glad. I mean, a little bit, but you know, you yeah. just always wonder, hey, what am I going to say? Right, I right, don't know right. what I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Felicia, folks, uh, guys, follow her on uh, social, social media. Medias. Her F O L K E S. Yeah. Yeah, is thank folks, you. Felicia, F E L I C I A. Mm. And you guys, yeah, she and I both perform a lot at the comedy store. Yeah. So come see us. Greatest uh, club in the world. Yeah, it is. It is yeah, the greatest it really club is. in the world. Which is so, cool. yeah, Felicia, thanks a lot for being on here. And, yes, that is it yeah. for this episode of Joe Code, well, folks. Let me get out of here. Uh, Felicia, let me, let me walk out because that's uh, how I got No, you don't have to walk out now. I got to walk out, out like just a gonna, show. I'm just going to end the podcast. <laughs> bye, bye, guys. All right. Bye, Felicia. Like the saying. Shut up. Um, Shut all right. Up. <laughs> all right. All right. See you later, Felicia. There. I won't do the stupid thing. All right, folks, thanks a lot. This is Joe Code. I'm Joe Marisi.